Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of a and b if we have 1 over a plus 1 over b equals to 1 over 13 and we solve this problem for the values of a and b and here you remember one thing is that our a and b uh, must be a uh, positive numbers okay so we find uh, positive values of a and b so here first we need to uh, uh, remove this fraction uh, from both of the sides so that in order to remove this fraction from both of the sides uh, we need to multiply uh, both of the sides by 13 times of AB because you see here the denominator of this term is 13 and the denominator of these two terms are A and B as well so that we multiply both of the sides by 13 times of AB and when we multiply this term uh, so it means that we multiply each of these terms by this value so it will be written as 13 times of AB multiplied by 1 over A plus 13 times of AB multiplied by 1 over B equals to 13 times of a b multiplied by 1 over 30 so now you see here we need some simplifications here so this a is cancelled out by this a and we will get here and here we get only 13 times of b plus so when you cancelled uh, here we cancel this b and we get here 13 times of a equals to here 13 is cancelled out by this 13 and we get here only b so here in the next step uh, we move this a b in the left hand side and we rearrange the terms and we get 13 times of a plus 13 times of b minus this is our a b equals to 0 so uh, here uh, we need to make the factors of uh, this equation so that in order to make the factors of this equation here we need uh, some addition of terms uh, so now first we rearrange the values and we write 13 times of a minus here we write a b and plus this is 13 times of b and in order to make the factors of this equation uh, we need uh, to add or subtract uh, 169 here uh, in order to make the factors of this equation okay so for the purpose of making the factors we need to add these values and now you see here uh, if we take common uh, 13 uh, we take common a from these two values uh, then we obtain here 13 times of a b so uh, here first we need to take common uh, a from these two values and we get here a times of 13 minus b and here we take common minus 13 and we get here 13 minus b and here uh, this here we get this is over plus 169 so we move this value uh, to the right hand side it will become minus 169 so further in the next step uh, here when we need to take common 13 minus b so that when you take common 13 minus b we get here a minus 13 equals to minus 169 so in order to make the right hand side is positive we need to multiply both of the sides by a negative sign so that when you multiply both of the sides by negative sign we just change the sign of this factor and it will be written as b minus 13 into a minus 13 equals to plus 169 so now you see here in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so now first we need to make two factors in the right hand side for this uh, we have some uh, options in which we get the product of two numbers product of two positive numbers becomes 169 so uh, here the first case is we multiply one times of 169 equals to 169 and second one is 169 times of 1 is also 169 and 13 times of 13 uh, is equals to 169 so we have uh, these three options in which we get the product of any two numbers becomes here 169 so that here we make three cases the first case is 
uh, we just compare these two factors on these two values so it will be written as b minus 13 equals to 1 and a minus 13 equals to 169 this is the our first case and now here uh, we need to find the values of a and b from here so uh, here we get our b is equals to 1 plus 13 so finally we get the value of b is equals to 14 so this is the first positive value of b which we get here from first case and from here we get a is equals to 169 plus 13 and we get a equals to 9 plus 3 becomes 12 we write 2 and carry 1 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 and we get 1 so second value of a is 182 and now in uh, second case uh, so in second case we need to compare these two factors with these values and here uh, we will take b minus 13 equals to 169 and we take a minus 13 is equals to 1 so from this case we again get the values of a and b so we have b is equals to this is minus 13 when we move in the right hand side it will become plus 13 and you get here uh, this is 9 plus 3 becomes 12 we write 2 and carry 1 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 and we get 1 so here in that case we get the value of b is 182 and similarly we uh, move here and we can find the values of a from this case so here we again move this minus 13 to the right hand side and we get our a is equals to 1 plus 13 and we get a equals to 14 so this is the uh, values of a and b which we get here from second case and now we move uh, forward uh, for third case and in third case we may we compare the factors or we compare these two factors of a third case this is uh, so we write these two factor equals to 13 uh, and when we compare the factors you will get here b minus 13 equals to 13 and a minus 13 is also equals to 13 so from uh, first case we have b equals to 13 plus 13 and we get b equals to uh, 26 okay so this is the uh, value of b in third case and from here we have uh, now we move minus 13 to the right hand side and we get here 13 plus 13 so you get our a is equals to also 26 so from third case we get the value of a and b both equals to 26 so uh, these are the values of a and these are the positive values of a and b uh, of the given question statement and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos